Hello, my lovelies. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. This is a message labeled for January 6th because I'm posting it in time uh, for January 6th where I am in the world. But January 6th may have already come and gone <laughs> by the time that you see this. So we're setting the intention that this be a message for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. Keep in mind, guys, uh, this is also a full moon energy. January 6th, uh, we're coming into the full moon. So uh, this energy could be around for the next 30 days for a lot of people. Um, or it may just be a message that finds you at a time that you're going through a similar energy, a similar period. So we're going to see what message is coming up here. For the collective out there. And we have the king of pentacles. But we had this yesterday. You saw me shuffle. This is the same message from yesterday. So go back and listen to the um, message for January uh, 5th. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do the same card two days in a row. But see that? See how that was emphasized? That's being emphasized. Maybe you heard the message and you scoffed <laughs> and spirit is saying, hey, <laughs> we mean it. Uh, okay, so now we have temperance. Ah, so if you scoffed at this, maybe now this is the next message for you, temperance. Um, this is a major arcana card. So major arcana cards are going to come up any time that we're coming into a defining period period in our life, a defining chapter, a significant uh, time in our life. That being said, because it's such a big shift and such an important time in our life, obviously that's not going to be wrapped up in 24 hours, right? It's going to be a period of time. So the things happening in the next 24 hours are setting things in motion for you directly connected to this major arcana energy. Temperance is associated with the astrological sign of Sagittarius. If you are a Sagittarius sun sign, this is a time that you're coming into authenticity and taking back your power and, 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 and living your best life unapologetically without worries or concerns about the thoughts or opinions of others, loving yourself, all of yourself, nothing about you, your life, your past, your family makes you cringe whatsoever. You embrace it all. You're grateful for it all. You love every aspect of yourself and everything that has made you who you are. So this can be a very empowering time if you're Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius placements, there could be big changes and big shifts happening for you in those houses or in those areas of your life. Some of you could be encountering a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. That could be a very significant soulmate for you at this time. Now, Sagittarius aside, because we don't all have Sagittarius placements, we're not all dealing with a Sagittarius, uh, Temperance card is also very much about divine timing. Things happening within divine timing, right? So some of you scoffed at this because you thought, oh, I've heard that before. And Spirit is saying it wasn't time before, but it's time now. It's time now. Things are happening within divine timing. And, and things are, uh, we're, we're coming into like, like a, 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 a designated time for us, a significant time for us. This is also very much temperance card about a spirit working through us, universe working through us, stepping onto life path. Some of you are going to feel that you're coming into a time where there's a lot of serendipity or a lot of coincidences that are aligning you with things that are very meaningful to you, things that are very near and dear to your heart. So even if it's not a career change per se, um, or a job opportunity, and I have to specify this, I have to emphasize this, because sometimes people make the mistake of believing that their life purpose is the same as their income, or like they, they think that their life purpose is the same as their job. And that's not the that's not the case. Sometimes what we're doing for work is funding the life purpose or the life path. Uh, it, it doesn't always mean that our, our work is our life purpose. Uh, that being said, 
It may not be a job, but you might find that you're having opportunities to collaborate or to get together uh, and to work on things that are near and dear to your heart where you feel that you're making a difference or you feel like you have a chance to actually contribute. And for some of you, especially those of you who've been very single for a very long time, intuitively, I feel that these opportunities to do these things that are meaningful and purposeful to you or for you are also aligning you with um, a life partner. I'm not just talking about uh, like a temporary girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm not just talking about somebody you date for a while or someone you think, yeah, we can, <laughs> I kind of like them. They're all right. No, I mean somebody with whom you have this real connection and you have uh, the same priorities and principles and ethics and and, and morals and uh, goals and uh, priorities. And so it's aligning with that life path, uh, life partner kind of energy. I'm talking about like spouse, life partner um, energy coming in as you're finding that all of a sudden you have opportunities to be involved in things that you're passionate about where you feel like you're doing something good, you're doing some kind of good, you're being of service, you're being of help, or you're getting a chance to use certain gifts or talents that, you know, like things you really enjoy doing, but you never really had an outlet. And now all of a sudden, all of these opportunities are coming up where you have an outlet uh, to put that to use. You know, maybe you love to sing, but you've never had a, an opportunity to uh, get together with people to sing. And now all of a sudden, opportunities are coming up for you where you can like actually go and join in and sing and like perform or, you know, whatever it might be, or do something artistically or do something, uh, you know, cooking or do something with building or, you know, making things with your hands, you know, whatever it might be, you might have certain interests that you just haven't been able to uh, put to use. And now you have an opportunity to put those gifts to use. And it's all connected to life path uh, and being of service to your fellow uh, brothers and sisters in, in the human race uh, and, uh, and you know, aligning and in this process, uh, aligning with like people who are going to be permanent in your life. Because uh, when we talk about soulmates, it's not only romantic. Yes, I do feel romantic soulmate, romantic permanence, but also permanence uh, in, in friendship friendship, partnership, uh, soul family kind of energy. You may want to check out uh, the other videos that are linked in the description. If you haven't checked out your 2023 forecasts yet, be sure to check those out. Those are linked in the description. If you would like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to my scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous uh, day ahead. We'll see you in tomorrow's message as well. Uh, happy full moon. Happy new year. Be well, my darlings. Take care. Bye.